This is uh, Griffith's quantum mechanics, problem 1.16. And what we're going to do is show the following at the time derivative of the inner product of any of these two um, normalizable states is equal to zero. So basically what this is, is one of our uh, coefficients. So if you want to know, uh, if you want to basically decompose one wave function into a basis of other wave functions, you end up with uh, a bunch of these integrals here, these coefficients, and the, um, uh, the, the square, or yeah, basically this, this will tell you the probability like how much of each of your uh, basis wave functions it takes to make up the wave function that you're interested in. So it's kind of important. So these are kind of your coefficients that tell you the probabilities of getting different states. And, um, and so it's important that these things aren't changing with time, right? So this is what we're going to prove. And it just comes from the, the Schrodinger equation. So first, uh, we'll just go ahead and take uh, the um, use the product rule on this. Like this. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to use the special forms of the uh, Schrodinger equation, which um, basically here's what they look like, right? So we're just dividing the Schrodinger equation by i h bar, meaning the version of the, the way Griffiths has it written in the first equation in the book, that's the equation that we're going to be dividing. So I mean, it's not like one form of the Schrodinger equation is inherently better than another or anything like that, but just so you know where we're coming from. Okay, so this is uh, just the, the normal um, psi, not psi star, and if we do the and, and Griffiths has these two equations in, in the book as well. I don't have my book right here handy with me, so I will look up the equation number. All right, so these are the two things. We've used these in other problems as well. Right, so we're just basically going to plug these guys right in. So um, let's go ahead and just, for convenience, call this integral i. Okay. That way I don't have to write out the whole thing again. So I'll just say i equals. Okay. So we're going to plug this guy right in here. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this term here and use this equation right here. Okay, so just uh, gonna jump down a line here. Um, okay, so this one, right, i over 
to m, and then we have our conjugate weight function number one here, and then we have this for number two. Like that okay. Now we are subtracting. This time we have conjugate number one and number two again. And there's our integral. All right, so good for us. We have these two terms that go away. And um, now basically what we need to do, I'll just rewrite this real quick, bring the constants out front. So now the trick here is um, we're going to be using integration by parts again. And again, these wave functions go to zero at infinity, so we don't have to worry about the boundary term. And basically what we can do is, since we're integrating by x and we're here inside the integral, we can just move one of these derivatives from this wave function right over to the other wave function, and all we do is pick up a minus sign. So I guess there's a couple ways to do this. You could do it twice um, on just one of these terms, or you can do it once on each of these terms. Um, I forgot a minus sign. That's important. Right? There's a minus sign up here. So this one's minus. OK. That's good, because that, that wouldn't have worked out. All right. Um, so hey, why not? Let's just um, let's use integration by parts once on each of these ter two terms, and we'll get So this one turns positive because we're moving one of these derivatives over to this one. Okay, so this term turns positive, and this one's going to turn negative because we're moving one of these derivatives over to this one. And lo and behold, these two terms are now the same cancel each other out, you get a big zero. And I don't have any space to write that, so I will write it right here. Okay. So i is equal to zero, and if we jump back to our first page, i was this integral that we were trying to do, which is equal to this um, expression right here. So what we've just shown is that this expression equals zero, and these coefficients um, that, that give us the probabilities of, of getting these different uh, states, uh, they're not going to be changing with time. So that's, that's good news.